don't really have a legacy or anything like that. You know, I just, I just, I just want to help people the same way they helped me coming up. I didn't have a lot coming up. You know, it was just me and my brother. You know, my sisters. Um, and we ain't had much, so you know there ain't a lot of things to do in this town, small town. So you know, I just want to give back. You know, that's why I have my own gym, and and I'm bringing up new champions. A lot of people would consider you a hero. Do you feel like you're a hero? Nah, no. I'm just regular guy. I'm just I'm just the hero that was before me. My trainer. My trainer was my hero. So. You know, I'm just trying to be a hero for somebody else. So Terry, where are you from and how long have you lived in Huntington? Huntington, West Virginia, all my life. Um, I'm 50 now, so I've been here 50 years. And what age did you take up interest in boxing? I, I took up interest in boxing early on. You know, I had... Um, People in my family that box, I had, you know, the box was pretty popular, you know, around my area, so it was natural for me to take it up early at eight, kind of on and off at eight, nine, 10, 11, but I, I really hit it hard at 14. As an amateur, the highest level I achieved was a uh, national champ, uh, JO, JO champion at 13. And um, national jail champion at 13, and and at 19, USERA champion. 20, um, I was armed forces champion, and that was 88 and 89. Then I, then when I left the armed military, I came back home and I won the Golden Gloves 90, 91, and then that's when I turned pro. Well, you know, I start training kids as young as seven years old to to 80. You know, I once had a, you know, a male that was 82 years old. He was a he was an old boxer, but you know, he he still got around and he still want to kind of train and keep himself, you know, going. Hey, I I had a um, I, there's been a lot of people that I met that I that I worked with that I trained that inspired me as well. And you know, from here, it's you know, it's been great for me, really. Uh, Jason Petaway, I trained him. He was one of the first guys I trained, and he went on to have a, a good pro career. You know, a record uh, 17 and three. You know, he made it to the um, he made he made it to the highest level. You know, to to a B level. But um, I got I have at least eight um, Golden Glove winners. I have five J.O. champions, two J.O. national champions, two, um, right now, two, two um, USA boxing national champions. Well, um, well, in Huntington, I worked for a company called Special Metals. It, it was once called Inco Alloys, but it but it now is now it's now it's special metals. But um, what happened was I worked in the melting department um, where there's cranes and, and metal and and I was a lead pitman and um and a large piece of metal fell from a crane and it fell on me. I dove out the way and it caught my leg and during the time when this happened, you know. I, I was I was actually a pro fighter at the time, and you know I was in shape. I had a fight coming up maybe two weeks before the time the accident happened. A lot of people try to encourage me. You know I, I I had a lot of people you know from Huntington anyway to that supported me in everything I did, and um and you know people for the most part you know. They, they encouraged me to keep going, but you know, I already had it in my head what I wanted to do, and you know, if I couldn't fight anymore, I wanted to train, train fighters. You know, I got to do something. So you know, I'm, you know, plus I'm a Kelly. Kellys are, are not quitters. You know, I'm, I'm from an athletic family, and 
And that's what we do, we, we go hard. When the metal fell from the crane and, um, and I dove out the way and it caught the back of my leg and slammed my body down and, and my face hit the concrete so hard, which, which is, you know, which I broke a few teeth and, um, and my jaw was broken on both sides. So I had to kind of tuck my chin in, you know, just to hold, hold my face up. So I was so worried at the time about my face you know, I didn't think about my leg. My leg felt wet, so I kind of just looked down and it was gone. So I immediately just, you know, grabbed my leg, you know, then all of a sudden this pain started coming, bearable, unbearable pain. And, and at that moment, you know, it was real to me. I, I was like, wow, you know, this is, this is it for me. <laughs> my career, everything is over. So, um, because you're a pro boxer and you have a, a boxing match within a couple of weeks. Exactly. And now you know, all of a sudden you're there and your leg is gone. Yes, my leg's gone. Um, you know, all these all these thoughts in my head, what I'm gonna do now. Um, you know, I'm supposed to fight in two weeks. Um, this, this and that. So so when I was um in the hospital and and I was just there, you know, before I went in surgery. You know, I, you know, a lot of people were trying to see me at the time and, and I just had no words. I had no words to say about anything. I just didn't know what to do. I was so lost. But, sure, but after my surgery and I had time to myself to, um, to sit there and, and, and I talked to a few people you know, a few people came in to see me and, you know, gave me words of encouragement. And then, then all of a sudden I start thinking that, um, well, it's not really not it for me. You know, I, you know, I have a lot of, cause at the same time I was already training little guys and, you know, I had, I had um, a lot of fighters that was pretty good and, you know, boxing was my passion. So, so I was, well, I can just pick this right back up and just go in to start training training guys you know if, if I can't make it then maybe somebody I train can make it so that's when it started you know there was no sadness from there I was just yeah I, I was just happy just to be alive and not have anything else wrong with me you know it was just my leg you know I had a broken jaw I lost some teeth and all but you know those things you know heal you know before you know it I was up walking around just like anybody else I kind of had advantage because, you know, I was already an athlete, I was in shape, you know, so when I had this accident, you know, my recovery was a lot faster than, you know, just a regular person. And and I already have that, um, you know, that workout mentality, you know, to, so, you know, that was still programmed in my head and I, you know, I just wanted to be stronger, faster, you know, I just wanted to get back to where I was. And, and the result of that was like very fast. Would you be willing to speak to kids who have lost limbs or maybe were born without them? Oh, why yes. It's, actually, I have. I, I have. There's, there's been kids during the time, you know, times after I had my accident that that had lost a leg that I spoke to and stuff like that um, about it, about the transition and, and 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 moving on in life, you know, and really it's not bad at all, you know, with, with the um, technology of today. When you see a kid coming here and you see the, like, the passion in their eyes, how does that make you feel? Oh, that's the best thing in the world. I see myself. I, 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 I know how I was. I, there was so much that I wanted and wanted to do, you know, to my own body. I wanted to be stronger, faster. I, I was eager to learn. And, and when I see that in the kids' eyes, I'm just eager to give it to them. I just remember how I felt, you know, for me as a kid, you know, to 
have something to do because when I was young, I, you know, there was a lot of things that, um, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, you know, everybody wants to be a football player, a basketball player, but, um, you know, I was good at sports. I was good at those things too, but, you know, I wanted something to call my own and, and boxing was kind of my escape. You know, it was an escape for me, so. And, and I met a lot of great people. Uh, my advice is to keep going. Is is to keep going because there's because it's never just the person. It's never just you. You know. This, you know. I have five kids. I ha I have family. I have people that love me and and people I love. So you know if if there's a, if you have an accident, it's it's better that you keep going than than to just give in and give up. Life is precious. Uh, they can reach me at um, TKO Boxing Club um, on Facebook. You know, I have a, uh, I have a website. I have um, an Instagram, TKO Boxing 304. That's how you can reach me. I'm Terrence Kelly, head trainer of TKO Boxing, once professional fighter, and I'm Huntington. <laughs>